Salut, Andrei! Sper că nu te super dacă am să vorbesc engleză, în așa fel încât oricine de aici din site ar studia postarea asta să poată să tragă niște concluzii. Sunt sigur că sunt o grămadă de alți oameni care ar găsi interesant ce povestim noi aici. Ok, so, um, so that everybody understands, I just uh, spoke uh, in Romanian with uh, Andre because he is uh, from my country and I uh, told him that I'm going to speak English so that everybody here at GMC can benefit out of the, our little discussion on dance. So, um, just a minute because uh, my guitar is not... There we go. So as I was saying, uh, first of all, I think that what you want to do is um, take care of the accuracy of your bending and the strength. Uh, you will be able to uh, to use when executing a bend if you use your wrist not your fingers. I haven't seen you uh, actually bend because I haven't seen a video um, which shows you're playing, but out of what I can hear from the recordings um, you have some issues with the reaching the, uh, the correct pitch uh, of the intended pitch uh, of the notes you want to bend. So, the thing here is, well, for instance, this is how I, uh, I do it. As you may notice, I use my ring finger and middle finger to fret the string that I want to bend. Of course, the ring finger goes the last, so it's going to actually fret the note that I want to bend up to the next note. The middle finger is there for support, and the index finger is there to muffle the strings around the string that is, uh, is going to uh, be bended, bent. Okay. Um, in such a way that no unwanted noise will be heard and if you want to do a little break on the notes it's going to sound pretty cool, right? Just a circular movement from the wrist, just like this. And the pressure uh, that comes from the, the wrist will increase the strength of your bend, so you won't be uh, uh, working so much as if you would bend from your fingers. You know, this is weak. See, instead of the wrist does all the work and the fingers offer the support and so the uh, ring finger and middle finger offer the support and the index covers the other strings. Imagine that you would want to do something like this. I don't think you can do that with your fingers because you need more control and that control comes from the wrist. So uh, I'm going to actually descend in a chromatic way. Uh, this is an exercise that I've been uh, noticing in Gutter Goblin's uh, videos. So he goes from um, this D note here, so D, C sharp, C and B, and he actually bends from B. and descends the bend one half step at a time. But his control is absolutely perfect. So this is an exercise that you would want to try. 
See how fast you can get it, uh, and in the same time having good timing, great definition, and control. Um, otherwise, another exercise that you can try is play a scale using bends. So for instance, we're going to play the C major scale, right, on a horizontal uh, line, so on one string. So we play, well, this guitar is tuned to uh, D standard, so don't mind the, uh, the, the fact that it's one uh, whole step down. The exercise is important, okay? So let's think uh, about this being the C note. So you want to bend from the C up to the D. Then you want to bend from the uh, D up to the E. So play the, the note that you want to reach, and then try to perfectly reach it with a bend. So E, E. Try to sing with, you, with your voice so that it stays in your head better. And if you have some, I don't know, uh, uncertainty, uh, just try to remember it. And since it's going to be in your head, you're going to know mm, to a great extent uh, the note that you're aiming to, uh, to reach with your bend. So Then from the E up to the F. Take care, we have a uh, half step bend here. Then from the F to the G. G up to the B, uh, the A. A up to the B. And the B up to the C. First, don't try to vibrate them. Just see if you can bend and hold the note there. It's going to be a great control exercise. Then try to vibrate. So I think that you should try and focus on these two little exercises and see what you get. Don't uh, just stay in the C major scale. Try any other scale. I don't know, G major, E major, F major, B flat major, whatever. Just get acquainted to, to all the spaces on the, uh, the fretboard and exercise the grip and the push from the wrist. Because in time you're going to have your wrist acquainted with the idea in your hands and it's going to come natural to bend and you're going to have strength your hands will not feel tired from doing that, okay? So, uh, please take care of that recording and tune up the guitar and after practicing these little exercises and becoming more and more aware of what you want to do with those bends in the blues lesson, uh, try and record once again and post into the thread that we have built together, okay? See ya, man.